I got purple hair. Hey! And I cut it a little bit. I did my side shave and stuff like that. I'm going to be using my phone in this video. But, um, well, sorry. Um, texting my best friend at the same time as I'm making this video because I don't want to, like, tell him that I'm doing something right now because I want to be surprised. Anyway, so, um, today I got this idea. Um, a lot of people have been messaging me saying, do another things you thought as a kid video. And, um, because I know a lot of people like those. But I couldn't really, I'm sorry I've been shooting in this background for a little while. I can't get my camera on the tripod in my bedroom, so I've been doing it in my dad's office here. But, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, um, but I couldn't really think of too many things that I thought as a kid after that one. And, um, but, uh, let's see. So I thought that I would just do an embarrassing stories video. I don't think I've really had, um, too many, uh, instances in which things happened that were so embarrassing that they changed my life forever. But I have had a few little embarrassing ones that I thought I would share with you guys so you can laugh at me and make me feel stupid. So let's get started, shall we? Um... I have them all written down on here, and I'm just saying. But anyway, so, um, a few of these have to do with when I was really little. Like, the first three have to do, are all in the same boat, and it's from when I was really little. So when I was, I'm always, I was, I've always been kind of an overly confident person, really outgoing, and things like that. Although, around new people, I'm really shy. But, um, like, when I get to know somebody, I'm really outgoing, and I'm really loud, and just an overly confident, outgoing person in general. And that was always a problem for me when I was a child, because um, I went to an overly religious school, and until about fourth grade is when I left, and I went there from kindergarten until fourth grade, and it was torture. But I just kind of like shrugged off all the bullying, and I'm like, nah, they're just messing with me. So they didn't change my personality, they didn't hurt me in any way, but um, I was still overly confident around the popular kids, and that led to a whole bunch of really, really embarrassing things, and... Um, just bad things in general happening when I was younger, so, um, yeah. That's just the first one. There's not very many in this video, um. Pretending to- okay, so I was a very, uh, tomboyish, uh, child. And I still am a little bit, but I've escalated more to a more feminine tomboy side. I guess, I don't know. But, so, um, I was, uh, when I was younger, I would always pretend to be a boy. I, I would wear blue all the time. And, uh, I made them call me by the name Anthony. I don't know where I got that name from, but that was my boy name. And I was like, no, you can't call me Cat. Call me Anthony. Like, I would argue with my parents all the time about that. And, um, so there was that. And I would always pretend to, there's a second story that leads up to this, but I'm going to leave that till the end because that one's like the worst one. But, um... So there was that, and that was always kind of a problem now that I look back on it now. It was really embarrassing telling everybody to clearly treat me like a boy, even though I was, in fact, a girl. But, um, yeah. Uh, I, this is kind of strange. To add to it, to even make it more embarrassing, I remember when I was little and I'd be in the bathtub, I would take a shampoo bottle and I would, like, use all the shampoo in it, and then fill it up with water and, like, pretend that I had a dick and just... <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't ask about that. Um, let's see. Boy cat. Uh, I had this little stuffed animal when I was younger. He wasn't, he wasn't exactly little. He was maybe about this big. And he was a big, stuffed, fluffy gray cat. And I loved that thing with all my heart. I took him everywhere. I slept with him. And he was, uh, like, the, he was like, he was like my, he was like my teddy bear or blankie growing up. He was my everything. And, um, I don't know if I still have him. I know I do, but he's just like in one of the boxes up here. But, um, he was my everything. And, um, we, he didn't have a name when I first got him. I don't remember how old I was. I kept him with me from when I was about three until maybe I was about six. And, um, the name, but the name that I gave him was Boy Cat. And I loved Boy Cat very, very much, and I would take him everywhere. And then as I got older, like when I was around five, I made people call me Boy Cat. And my mom, her nickname because uh, I was obsessed with the circus as well. There was boy, there was me, boy cat, this stuffed cat, and my mom, who was ringmaster. And when I was little, we had little matching hoodies made. Me and my mom, mine said boy cat on the back, and hers said ringmaster. 
and I know they're still up there, but I'm too lazy to get it down right now. But that was Boy Cat, and it was kind of strange looking back on it now to see a little cross-dressing girl running around the grocery store screaming Boy Cat as loud as she can. And, um, yeah. Wearing my Halloween costume. Okay. So, I lo I've always loved Halloween. I always have. And, um, it's, like, my favorite holiday, of course, because, like, I can, I can walk outside covered in blood, and people would, like, they, like, they wouldn't care. Like, I could walk outside with a gun covered in blood, and nobody would care. And, um, so, I didn't, I didn't really, I never really came to accept the fact that Halloween only happens once a year. So, when I was in kindergarten, I would always wear, I would always dress up as superheroes. Like I said, I was a tomboy, so I dressed up as, like, X-Men, Wolverine, and I would wear that costume to school every single day before and after Halloween until my teacher called my mom and said that she keeps wearing this Halloween costume to school. We need to do something about it because she um, is breaking the dress code. This happened when I was like in kindergarten, but I think it was until I was maybe about six or seven that I realized that I was finally able to accept that Halloween only comes once a year and that it is frowned upon to walk outside in an X-Men costume in the middle of April. So, um, yeah. George, oh my god. Okay, so I practically grew up with Obama as president. He was elected when I was like maybe seven or eight, one of the two, I don't remember well. No, six, seven or eight, I don't remember. But anyways, so um, uh, he was elected when I was very, very young. And so, of course, the president before him was George Bush. And, of course, he wasn't a very good president. Uh, at least that's how my parents taught me. And he killed a whole, bu a whole bunch of people. Is, well, I'm just basing all of this off of what my parents told me because I don't know that much about politics. But anyway, so um, from what my parents taught me, George Bush was a bad president and he killed a whole bunch of people and that's why nobody liked him. And um, so when I heard, I think I was maybe about three when this happened, m my dad, he always talked about how George Bush killed so many people. And I grew up in a Catholic family. Although I'm agnostic, uh, my family is Catholic. I grew up in a Catholic family. And so, of course, I, I go to church, and I learned about, I went to Sunday school, I learned about the life of Jesus Christ, I learn about it, I go over it once or twice a year, because I still go to church. But anyway, I'm forced to. But anyway, so, uh, I was still, I was, I was little, and I was still, my little human brain was still trying to figure out how this whole biblical thing worked. Like, my whole, I was trying to figure life out. And so, as my, as my parents would describe how George Bush killed all these people, I remember thinking that George Bush was the one who killed Jesus. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from, but that was just a really embarrassing thing that I thought. And I would always run around being like, like, did you hear about George, how George Bush killed all those Muslims or what, what, whatever, I don't remember well. And so I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I think, I think he killed Jesus too. And then the people would just look at me and they'd start laughing and I had no idea why until my mom actually sat me down and explained to me that, that, uh, that he didn't kill Jesus and I was able to figure out on my own as I got older that that wasn't the case. Oh my god. This one, this next one is so bad and I cannot believe that I'm about to say it. This is definitely one of my worst embarrassing moments. I was in kindergarten. And this was still, like I said, in my phase where I thought that I was a boy, so I did all these boyish things. And I said, like, I would take the shampoo bottle, pretend that I had a dick, and just... So when I was in kindergarten, uh, we didn't have, uh, like, gender-oriented bathrooms. We just had one unisex bathroom when I was in kindergarten. There was a stall, and there was a, um, there was a urinal. And none of us were allowed to use the urinal, not even the boys were allowed to, so we didn't even know why I was there. And, um, so of course, when I was little, I was still, I was still confused about my gender. And, um, so, yeah, I walked, I, I, uh, got really bored one day during class, and I kept thinking about it. And I was like, because I, I was having one of my boy days, so I got really confused, I got really confused and bored during class, so I asked the teacher if I could go to the bathroom. So she said, okay, I walked in there, and I was about to walk into the stall, and then I noticed the urinal. And I stood there, and I attempted to pee standing up for a good 15 minutes. And, and, <laughs> this is the worst part, I'm standing there, and I'm like trying to figure this all out. Like seriously, standing there, like, like this, trying to pee standing up. And then suddenly, he, I turn my head. My teacher and the entire class behind her is standing at the door 
watching me. Like, they've been standing there for, like, 15 minutes, and I stood there, my face turned bright red, I was mortified. She took me back to the classroom, and it gave us a big-ass lecture about how stupid I was being in that situation, and how, uh, and how I shouldn't do it in the future, and it, it was hell over my head until I left that school. So that was pretty terrible. Mm, hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, my ass <laughs> This actually happened last night. I just thought I would put this in here because I thought it was funny. So last night, um, it was, let's see, it was me, my boyfriend, and a couple other people that he knew, and we were going to this bonfire, and it was at his friend Tyler's house, and, uh, we were just fooling around, and I didn't really know his other friends that well, and I didn't know how loud and obnoxious they could be, although I do like being around people like that. Um... Uh, this was a whole different level for me, so we were just hanging around, and of course, they're teenage boys, they're getting all rowdy, throwing stuff on the fire, I think somebody actually threw a chair on there at one point, and so, of course, we're getting all rowdy and stuff, and they're running around with lighters, smoking cigarettes, and doing all these weird things, and at one point, like, uh, this one kid, I'm not gonna name who it is, but he kept running around with his lighter trying to set people on fire, and, uh, he, he'd, like, come up behind someone, like, like, with the lighter, like, behind their neck, like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Stick your tongue out, stick your tongue out. I dare you to put your tongue on the lighter. And, um, I, and I was just like, like, oh, well, I was, I, like, keep in mind, I just met this guy, but I, he turned out to be pretty awesome. So I was like, okay, like, I, I grabbed my, I grabbed my friends and I was like, okay, let's go over there because I don't want any of you getting hurt. Um, let's just say things happened and, uh, <laughs> We, I was hanging out with them, and of course it, we were all like standing around, and uh, we were all just leaning on each other. And this kid, we were facing the opposite way, so we weren't facing the fire. So we were facing the opposite way near the treehouse, and we were just trying to work on it. And so this kid comes up behind me, and he has his, because he knows I'm terrified of lighters, and he's just trying to mess with me. So he comes up behind me with his lighter, and he starts like waving it around behind me. And, um, I'm gonna close this, because it's, uh, open. And so, um, he starts waving this thing around behind me, and, uh, mm, let's just say, uh, two of my belt loops caught on fire for a split second, and, uh, yeah, my ass caught on fire for a split second, and it wasn't fun. Uh, and, uh, so did, um, uh, my boyfriend's hair, his hair caught on fire for two seconds. I mean, we fixed it, but it was scary when it happened. But, um, screaming. Oh, yeah. This one, um, uh, didn't happen. This was what, this happened when I was in the sixth grade. I had a study period, and I was hanging out, and of course, like, this was still when I was getting bullied, and the bullying was really bad, so I didn't talk to anybody, and I was really keeping to myself at this point. But I was in my study period, and I'm working on something, and I'm leaning in my chair kind of like this. I shifted my weight to one side, because these chairs were, like, really uncomfortable, like they really hurt your butt. So I'm shifting my weight to one side, and I'm sitting there, and I had eaten, like, a whole bunch of broccoli, mashed potatoes, and other stuff for lunch, and it was, like, the period right after lunch. So I'm sitting there, and I'm writing, and then I try to move a little bit, like this, to the side, and all of a sudden, the loudest fart in history went... <laughs> and the entire class heard it and everyone was like what was that and they were like it was cat and the teacher got really concerned it was, it's hilarious to think back on now but it was terrible when it happened mm, screaming too loud okay so this happened about maybe last april i have a friend and i know i did a video with her i think it's an older video from last year the one who i did randomness with two hobos her in that video she had really like longish hair about down to her elbows and it was really when she was getting to her whole emo phase. And so, uh, we were, it was the day after spring break, and, uh, she said she was going to be getting a haircut, but she'd been saying that for weeks now, and I never believed her. So we, 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 uh, I came into school, and it was, I was in the gym with a couple of my friends and the boy that I like, and so she walks in, and her hair is completely, like, chopped off. Like, she chopped it all off, it's all in her face, she's all emo, so she dropped her stuff, and I screamed, <laughs> But it was, I didn't, it wasn't that quiet. I screamed like a banshee and it was so loud and literally everyone in the gym just looked at me like it was, of course, the boy that I liked. He looked at me, he's like, can you stop? And so I looked at him, I looked at everybody else around me and they're just looking at me like, 
bitch, are you okay? Are you okay? So that was that happened last year. Toronto escalator. So um, we were. Uh, I went on tour to Toronto last year, as you guys know, with my orchestra, and uh, we were uh, at the Science Center in Ontario. We got a lot of freedom, like I said. Like the chaperones would like take us to all the places, and then they would just leave us there to walk around. And um, so just have fun. So it was me and a couple of my friends. We thought that when we got there that the um, Science Center was closing at 7, and that's when we had to be back. But no, it was actually closing at 6, and we didn't know that. So we're walking around. we got like an hour, so we're walking around. It's about 5.50ish, and so suddenly we hear over the loudspeaker, Attention, the Science Center will be closing in 10 minutes. And it was me, my friend Nick, my friend Olivia, and my friends, and my friend Cassiana. And so we hear, the Science Center will be closing in 10 minutes, and we're like, 10 minutes? And we didn't know how to get back because we were like way in the middle of the building, but we didn't want to get lost. So we ran all the way around to the other side of the building and ran up the down escalator. And you can probably guess how many times we fell. And everybody was looking at us like, damn Americans. This is why we this is why we're in Canada right now. We're trying to teach you Americans a lesson, but you're not it was it was bad. Um the next one I'm not gonna say because it has to do with the science center and it's just another weird thing which I'm not gonna say because it's kinda complicated and it's about something I'm sure nobody remembers, so I'm just gonna skip that. Warp tour. Lots of embarrassing things happened to me at Warp Tour this year, but not this year, last year, and it was twenty fifteen, so last year. It happened to me at Warp Tour last year, but possibly the most embarrassing was when I passed out in the mosh pit. And it was um it was right before we saw Paris play and the crowd was really big. I hadn't eaten anything all day and I was walking around, it was like 100 degrees. I hadn't eaten anything. I hadn't drinking, drunken anything. I don't know the word. Drink any. I didn't drink anything. I hadn't eaten anything. I was walking around. It's about 100 degrees. And we're standing there in uh, the thing to see Paris play in the crowd. Like, we're all packed in because my friends wanted to see them really, really bad, even though I didn't know them. I mean, I did, but I didn't listen to their music. So the crowd is really, really packed in. And we're sitting there and we're waiting for them to come on to play. And, um,. So, as we're waiting, a mosh pit starts forming, like, around us, and we're just like, Yeah, mosh pit, let's go! So, I'm, I, we're kind of like, of course, people are dancing, jumping around to Asking Alexandria, which was on the other side, but a mosh pit was forming over on this side where Paris was going to play, because they hadn't come on stage yet. So, we're just standing there like, Yeah, mosh pit, have a good time! And we're jumping around and acting like idiots, and all of a sudden, I get this dizzy feeling. Like, I grab onto my friend, I'm like, holy shit, holy shit, oh shit, shit, shit. If I pass out, I don't know what I'm going to do. Shit, shit. And I felt my knee hit the ground. And I opened my eyes, and there's all these people around me. This really cute guy caught me, and I'm looking up at him like, hmm. But then, like, the passing out part, that wasn't the bad part. The bad part was that afterwards, I was walking around, and everybody was talking about it. Because apparently, when I passed out, my eyes were wide open the entire time, even though I couldn't see shit. And it was embarrassing to think about it now, because I will forever be remembered at the, as the girl at Warp Tour who passed out with her eyes open. So, Cedar Point. This one, I've spoken about it before, but I feel like it was so ridiculous that I feel the need to reiterate. Um, so, at Cedar Point last year, my school does a yearly trip to Cedar Point, and it's a lot of fun. We stay there all day. But, like I said, I was with my friends, and uh, we were just hanging out, and my feet hurt from walking around a lot. We were sitting on a bench just relaxing, and this guy walked past us. He was really, really, really good looking, and he was wearing a whole bunch of band merch for bands that I really, really liked. And so I saw him, and I'm like, damn, that's a 10. And I had to at least say something to him, so I grabbed my two friends, and I chased this guy halfway down the park just to tell him I liked his outfit. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And I continued to follow him until he got rid of me, which was probably a good idea. So that one was the last one. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, uh, please do me uh, do me a really, really nice favor and hit that like and subscribe button. And I hope you guys have a really nice week. And uh, I'm not sure when this video will be up, but when it is, I hope you guys like it. And that's it. And until next time, have a good day or night or whatever.